hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to make a multicolored striped bodycon skirt so uh, for the materials you'll need a measuring tip to take your measurements and then you'll also need a dunning needle to weave in your ends you'll need a four millimeter crochet hook and then a pair of scissors and for the yarn i'm using winter king which is a four ply acrylic yarn and the first measurement that you're going to take is your upper waist measurement your upper waist which is the waistline where the navel is that level you're going to just measure around and let's begin so you're going to grab your yarn i'm using black for the waistband but i'm going to try my best to explain it as much as i can so that you can understand so um i hope everything is clear on camera you're going to start off with a slip knot and you're going to make a chain of 11 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so when you have your 11 chains, you're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So not this one. You're going to count one and two. And into that second one, you're going to place a single crochet in there. And then continue to single crochet into each and every chain until you have a total of 10 single crochets. So our waistband is going to be 10 single crochets thick. If you want uh, your waistband to be thicker, then I would advise you to make more chains for the start. So you're going to single crochet all the way across this chain and you're going to have a total of 10 single crochets. And then you're going to chain one, turn your work. And we are going to place one single crochet back loop only into each and every single crochet. So only into the back loop. Single crochet. And continue to single crochet back loop only into each and every chain. So that marks the end of our row two and now we're going to row three chain one turn your work and you're going to single crochet back loop only into each and every stitch so still we're going to have a total of 10 single crochets placed in the back loop so placing your single crochets is going to um create a ribbing on our waistband as well as giving it some stretch so continue to do that until this um, waistband can make it around your waistline comfortably without being stretched at all so continue to work single crochet back loop only until this length is up to the measurement that you got when you measured your waistline so we are going to continue building until we get uh, that measurement around our waistline so for my measurement I have uh, my waistline is 24 inches and uh, I continue to work one single crochet back loop only until I had my 24 inches as you can see I folded it into half so I should have a total of 12 inches without even struggling to stretch it at all so just go ahead and do that measurement without stretching it and once you get that measurement 
this was 12 because it's times two because I folded over my work like this so once you get that measurement you're going to bring the back side of your waistband and you're going to chain one and you're going to make a slip stitch into each stitch on both sides so just go into the back loop of this side and into the stitch on the other side and we are closing up our waistband we are joining the two panels together I'm sorry for using a dark color but um, recording this while making the actual order Okay, so we're almost coming to the end. Make sure your slip stitches are not very tight. Um, so we are done with this. And now we've formed a circular loop. So the side where you've placed your slip stitch is going to be the wrong side. And I'm going to turn my work to the right side. Make sure your waistband is not twisted. So this is what we have. I've turned it to the right side. Now, um, you're going to chain one and we are going to go around this uh, waistband with um, half double crochet stitches. But into the first row, you're going to place one half double crochet, second row, one half double crochet, third row, one half double crochet, fourth row, one half double crochet and into the fifth you're going to place two half double crochets so you're going to increase every fifth stitch as you can see here now um if you have a smaller hip measurement then you're going to increase every 10 every 10 rows every 10th row you place two half double crochets if you have a wider um, hip measurement compared to your waistline measurement, you're going to consider fewer stitches in between the increases. So for me, I did a total of four stitches and then into the fifth, I placed two half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and into the fifth, you're going to place two half double crochets and i'm going to repeat that all the way around one two three four and in the fifth two half doubles one two three four and into the fifth you're going to place two half doubles so one, two, three, four, two half doubles in the fifth. So I'm going to go all the way around and I'll meet you back at this point. So I've made it all the way around and I'm ending with two half doubles into the very last row. And then I'm going to go into the very first half double crochet and place a slip stitch like that and I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn because I'm going to switch to the new color go through now uh, what I want you to measure right now you're going to make sure that when you stretch that row that we just did um, the row of half double crochets you can get to half your hip measurement as you can see here I'm stretching this row that I've just done here on this uh, edge and I'm going to make sure this can stretch to 20 inches because my client's measurement is 40 inches hip measurement 
but when it comes to the waist uh, basing on the stitch that we used we get 12 which is 24 inches waist measurement that way um, we are going to have a skirt that's well fitted and not so big in the waistline because this can stretch and that means it can shrink back to 24 so you're going to get your second color mine will be red so grab your next color i don't know what colors you're going to use but i'm going to do a random placement of different colors so you are going to make sure that you're working in the opposite direction of the previous row so that the seam line can be in one straight line without slanting so attach your yarn into that same exact stitch where you placed your slip stitch and you're going to chain one half double crochet into that same exact um, stitch make sure your tails are on the wrong side and then continue to half double crochet into each and every stitch around so one half double crochet into each and every stitch so for this row we are not going to increase at all just go ahead and place one half double crochet into each and every stitch all the way around and I'll meet you back at this point here So I'm almost coming to the end of my row, my round, sorry, and I'm placing my last half double crochets. And then I'll go on top of the very first half double crochet that I made and make a slip stitch. That marks the end of this round. I don't know why this is appearing pink, yet it's red. But yeah, so let's chain one our work and we are going to continue to place one half double crochet into each and every stitch all the way around and we're just going to repeat that until we get the length that we want for our skirt so what I decided to do was to make two rows of each color it was a random uh, choice of colors so just get whatever color that you have this project is very good for scrap yarn um, those people who have leftover yarn in different colors so you can pick any color to go next and um, just do two rows of each color all the way around so just don't don't forget to always work in the opposite direction of the previous row so that we can have our seam line in one straight line at the back so just go ahead and do that and i'll be back and um, i'll also let you know how many rows that i did how many rounds i did before working on the final um edging at the base of the skirt
Okay, so I've done a total of 34 rows after the waistband and after the black row. There's a black row that was around the waistband. So I went ahead to do a total of 34 rows. And now I'm going to finish up the base of my skirt. I don't like just a flat edging. So what I'm going to do is to attach my very last color like this and then chain four which counts as a double crochet chain one skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next and you're going to do that chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next repeat that all the way around We are creating a mesh pattern at the base of the skirt. So we are coming to the end of the row and I'm going to chain one and slip stitch into the third chain of the chain four. One, two, three. And make a slip stitch there. Now for this very last round, <coughs> you're going to make sure you're working it on the right side of your work. So this is the wrong side of my work. And that means I'm not going to turn my work. Make sure this final round is worked on the right side of your work so i'll stay on this side this is my right side so you're going to make a chain of three double crochet three more times into the very first space like that and then single crochet into the next space single crochet into the next space chain three double crochet three times into the same space and then single crochet once into the next two spaces and chain three and create a scallop so um, it's just going to create a very beautiful edging for us cut as you can see you're going to go all the way around doing this this is optional if you feel like this is not something that you want you can leave your skirt bare but um, i usually don't like a flat edge for my crochet projects So I'm coming to the end of my round and I'm placing my last two single crochets and then I'll place a slip stitch into the first space and chain one, cut my yarn and when you turn your work to the right side you'll have something that looks like this 
I think the aging is now better than what it was before. It's better than having a, a very straight edge. So after this, you're going to turn your work to the wrong side and make sure you get rid of all the loose strands. This. What I'm going to do is to just make a knot everywhere. Like where the two strings meet, I just make a tight knot and then cut. So just go ahead and do that at all points. If you want to use a dunning needle, go ahead and do that. Make sure you're doing this on the wrong side of your work. After getting rid of your loose ends, you're going to turn your work to the right side. And my right side looks like this. On the back end where the seam line is, you can see. Um, your work is going to look like this at the back. And when it comes to the front, it's almost perfect. We don't have any lines. And now you're going to make a long chain of about 200 or 150 chains to go into the waistband in order to create a better fitting for our skirt. So make a slip knot. And just make a normal chain of around 200 chains. So when you have your long chain of about 200, you're going to start placing that um, drawstring into the waistband. I'm going to place it on the upper end of the waistband. So just go in and out of the stitches. Just find the most comfortable spot to place it.
so i've made it all the way around and this drawstring is going to help us adjust the size of the waistband so that it can create a better fitting for our skirt and that is basically it i hope you guys liked this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you in my next video bye